Hello and welcome to the HDMI Culinary TV. Today we want to introduce to you something new, something modern, something very trendy and you probably have heard it before, molecular gastronomy. Today we show you some tricks, something to do with food, about presentation you can do with liquid nitrogen, which is part of the molecular gastronomy. And today, as we prepare with the molecular gastronomy, I have the assistance of Joanna. She will help me to prepare today's items. Joanna is from Taiwan and she's one of our culinary students. Here we have a special container with the liquid nitrogen. Liquid nitrogen is a frozen gas and the speciality of it, it's minus 196 degrees centigrade. So it's seriously cold. Hence, once we work, want to work with liquid nitrogen, we have to take some safety precautions. Namely, we have to wear gloves to protect our hands, and we have to wear some kind of glasses or goggles to protect our eyes. As I mentioned, 196, this is almost 200 degrees minus. So should you get this frozen gas on your hand, on your skin, it will burn. Just like a fire, you can get burnt. Hence the precaution of the gloves and the glasses. For instance here, also a very nice for, uh, item for presentation would be, we have balloons, just regular birthday balloons, any color. You just blow them up as you would for your own birthday party. We have one prepared here. Just the size that you can fit into the container with the liquid nitrogen. But what we do here, we print our, for instance, our menu on it. Because this will be our menu presentation. So we wrote with normal marker pen on a balloon with normal air. Now this we will immerse in the liquid nitrogen. But of course as a precaution, I will put on my gloves first. To work. Now we'll immerse it into the liquid nitrogen and you will see what happens to the balloon. We'll turn it slightly and as if by magic it shrinks because the air inside the balloon shrinks as well because it's so cold. There we have a frozen, empty balloon with something written on it. And then quickly, we serve this as it is to our guest. And then the guest is watching the magic happening. The balloon blows up itself, just on its own, as if by magic. And then And it comes back, really, the whole balloon, once it reaches room temperature, it is original size and is nothing happened. It's not frozen, it's not cold. Fantastic. And the guests will be surprised by our kitchen magic. Another thing you can do with, with the liquid nitrogen, for instance, we have lemon or citrus fruits, oranges, mandarins. And to show you how cold this liquid nitrogen is, what we did is we just peeled them slightly to remove some of the outer skin, but the fruit inside stays intact. So this also will immerse into the liquid nitrogen. And as you can see, it starts to cook, basically. But cooking in the sense of reverse cooking, because it's so cold, it's so freezing. And this is almost frozen, but we want to freeze it completely. We want to freeze it throughout, so that is frozen into the core. So this will take maybe a minute or two. And what you see here, the smoke, <coughs> this is the, the gas which has, uh, is about is, uh, evaporating. And, but it's not toxic, but it's just cold. And it starts to freeze, so it starts even to crack a little bit. 
Now you can see, but we want to freeze it a little bit more. In your standard freezer, you will never achieve this kind of coldness. This liquid nitrogen actually is also used in a lot of food production to shock freeze fruits and vegetables, to shock freeze fish and seafood. They use it on the fisher cutters, where they are fish trawlers. When they catch the fish and the prawns, and they will shock freeze it immediately to preserve the food quantity, uh, the quality and the freshness. So now, this should be frozen. And it took less than one minute. And now what we will do, we'll smash it. And then you can see the cell structure of the fruit completely. There you go. Again, it's, it's dry, so it's not that dangerous. But now we need something hard to smash it up. Oh, it's not totally frozen. And there you can see the individual cell structure of the lemon, for instance. Now this also we can use as a garnish. You can do this with orange or mandarin because the special here is the cell structure stays completely intact because of course when water freezes it builds icicles. But and the icicles destroy the cell walls. But here we freeze this so quickly, there's no time for the icicle to build and to destroy the cell structure. So that means here, these lemon cells will stay intact and you can eat them right away. They're just a little bit frozen or on the plate. You can use them fresh lemon garnish. Today we showed you how to work with liquid nitrogen which is part of the molecular gastronomy. Joanna and me, we did the lemon, we froze it and broke it into small pieces. And as you can, might, can see, it's small individual cell structure in, in, intact. So it's very nice for garnish. Birthday balloons, any good old birthday balloon you blow up, you write the menu on it, freeze it with the liquid nitrogen, so it shrinks and you have a very nice surprise for your guests because the balloon, by getting room temperature, it blows itself up to the original size and looks like that. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bada bing, bada boom. Best wishes and great dishes.